Hi everyone, Remy Morgan here, and today we're, we want to show you a video on mobile threat defense and why it's part of a comprehensive mobile security strategy for today's healthcare industry, healthcare organizations. Back in the day, it was just MDM. Most people today still just have MDM, but if you think about it, MDM is really a tool for provisioning and locking down devices and wiping devices. It doesn't protect against threats from the network, the, de uh, the device, and also at the application. That's where MTD plays. So in fact, a comprehensive solution involves both MDM and MTD. And we're gonna show you today a video of an iOS exploit which shows you how MDM doesn't even see this exploit and why you should look at MTD as part of your comprehensive mobile security strategy. So what we're showing you here is on the left is a uh, iOS device um, and we're gonna walk through it. The first minute or so will be pre-attack. I wanna show you that it's a normal, normal device. It's connecting to a, uh, a public Wi-Fi, Starbucks, wherever you may be. And on the right is the bad actor with some command line so that he can uh, inject a, a man in the middle attack and then also do a mobile phishing campaign. And on the bottom is his finder where he's gonna exfiltrate data once the device is weaponized. So here as we get started, you'll see that we first click on the uh, AirWatch MDM. It's everything is compliant. The device is normal, connectivity is normal. We're gonna go into settings and look at a few things here. We're on a, uh, on a Wi-Fi. Uh, this is an IO, uh, th there's your IP address, same as uh, the bad actor. And then also, uh, we're going to look at what version of the iOS we're on. This is 11.0, so it's relatively new. It's, this isn't a, uh, an older, that old of a version of iOS. Now the user is going to go to a, uh, a normal website, show you that it's working normal, like you would when you're at a uh, coffee shop. And the thing is, you know, when you're on a mobile device, that is an endpoint that needs to be protected. You have so many layers of protection for your desktops. How many layers of protection do you have for, for mobile? Probably just MDM, right? And we, use, we spend more time on mobile than anything else. So here he is, he's on a, a normal web page. The device is acting normally. Now we're gonna show what happens when a man in the middle attack occurs and also a mobile phishing campaign. And the user is going back to his web page, but this time he's going to get redirected. And he may or may not notice because we're so used to just working on a smaller screen. His security guard is probably down because he's out in a public place. And here comes a uh, application that's pushed out, which is mobile phishing. And if this was a, a real attack, uh, we could make that look very, very clear, that icon, very realistic. Um, and since we're so used to tapping, things on mobile, we're just going to start tapping. We're not looking at it as closely as we would if we were at our office, things like that. And once you start tapping through it, that app is loaded on and the device becomes rooted. And so the user, or the, the bad actor, excuse me, has full access to that device. And we're going to go through some samples of what the, uh, what the bad actor can do now on that device. And so the device is weaponized now. It's fully rooted. And what does that mean? Well, you'll see here in a moment some of the things that this hacker can use now on the device to his advantage. It's all listed there. We'll go through a few examples. First, we're going to take a picture. So, you know, what if, what if uh, you're, this phone is at some sec secure place in your facility and you don't, need a, you don't want a photo? He can snap a photo, download it, and get it onto his finder, his local Mac. That's scary. Next, we're gonna go into the keychain and look at all the SSIDs and plain text of all the passwords. So now he has access to all those SSIDs and the passwords. That's something you don't have unless the device is rooted. Think about the uh, implications of having that information in the wrong hands. Now he's gonna record an audio. Perhaps a C-level person's phone is, is rooted and they start uh, recording and playing audio and downloading it to his local Mac of, of confidential meetings. The device is weaponized. This is where mobile threat defense comes in to protect against these types of, of uh, information. He's also pulled up all the contacts now and he has information to that. Now he's gonna send out a email 
to a coworker saying, hey, I'm this person. This is not spoofed email. This is email from this device. So why would I not think of following through to my superior and sending him confidential sensitive documents, attachments that he will then have access to and download to his local Mac again? Perhaps it's a, uh, a large merger acquisition uh, deal that's going through for a large healthcare system. Um, think about the implications there, again, for the business. These are things that are happening more and more. And again, how many layers of protection do you have on your mobile device today to protect against this? And compare that to what you're using for your, your PCs, which are behind a network that you own and know, and the devices are domain joined, and you have multiple layers of protection. These are out in the wild. So again, he's going to download this attachment now. And there it is, and he's going to open it up, and he has that content, and the users don't even know. And the scary thing is, mobile device management, MDM, does not protect against these types of attacks. He's going to go to the MDM icon here in a moment and show you that everything is normal from an MDM perspective. That's where MTD, Mobile Threat Defense, comes in to protect these types of threats on the network, the device, and applications. So you may be asking yourself, I have MDM. Why would I need something like this? Like Remy said before, MDM is really, was never really meant to do this type of checking against malware and other security threats. Uh, MDM's job is more administrative, where MDM is going to push your apps, push your policies over the air, give you some control and management of that, but it's not gonna check, hey, is this, is, is there malware? Is this app full of malware on this device? Is this app pinging some other server in China and remoting home back? So this is the importance of why we need a mobile threat detection. And, and how this works with your existing MDM is, if an MTD realizes that there's something going on on the device that's not correct, it's gonna talk to your MDM. And what the MDM is gonna, the MTD is gonna say, hey MDM, something's wrong on here, take action. And that MDM is going to revoke access or quarantine that device until that threat is remedied. So it's important to have a foundation of MTM, MDM, but it's very important right now in the industry that we need these type of threat detections uh, solutions on our mobile devices. Thanks for listening.